Okay, in this problem, we're asked to sketch the level sets uh, where f is equal to negative 1, negative 0 0.5, 0, 0 0.5, and 1. And on each of the connected curve pieces, we're going to sketch the direction of one gradient vector of f. And our function f of x, y is given as equal to x, y. Okay, so for this problem, we want to find We want to graph the level sets negative 1 equals xy, xy is equal to negative 0 0.5, 0, 0 0.5, and 1. And so we can do that. We'll graph these curves quickly. So first off, we can see that The asymptotes of all of these equations are going to be when x, y equals 0, so the x and y axes. So the first level set that we can graph is the level set where f is equal to 0 because it's just the axes. So we say f equals 0. And then We'll go ahead and graph the level set where x, y is equal to negative 1. So we see that when f is equal to negative 1, we have the hyperbola that's defined as so. And we can also sketch quickly the the level set where f is equal to negative 0 0.5, which will be right between the x and y axis. and f equals 1, or negative 1. So this is f equals negative 0 0.5. OK, and now we want to graph we have our f equals 0. Let's do f equals 1 first. So we'll do f equals 1. And finally, So all of them have the same asymptote. None of them will intersect because, by definition, they equal different values. Um, so the blue line will always be underneath the or between the axes and the orange line. And likewise, the purple line will always be in between the axes and the yellow line. OK, so we have, let me just label this one. Okay, so now we want to, so we have our sketch of our level sets. 
Now we want to find the gradient vector of f. Gradient vector of f of x, y is y, x. And we want to find the direction for all of the, on each of these connected pieces. So if we pick a point on f equals 1, say x, y equals 1, 1, then the direction in which we want to go is the gradient vector at 1, 1, which is 1, 1. So our direction from 1, 1 will be in, that, in the direction of 1, 1. And if we choose a point, so we can likewise do on this connected piece, negative 1, negative 1, and see that our gradient tells us that we're moving in the direction of negative 1, negative 1. And now we'll choose a point x, y, equals 1, comma, 0 0.5. And so that's going to be on um, the level set where f is equal to 0.5. And that tells us to move in the direction 0 0.5 comma 1. So at our point 1.5, we're going to move like that. So, and then we can also choose negative 1, negative 0 0.5, and we get negative 0 0.5 comma negative 1. So negative 1, 0.5. We get the following gradient vector, the direction. And so now we want to draw directions on these curves. So let's choose x, y, 1, negative 1. Negative 1, negative 1 tells us the direction we're moving is negative 1, 1. So at the point 1, negative 1, we're going to be moving negative 1, 1. So moving towards the origin. And likewise, if we were to choose negative 1, 1, we'll be moving in the direction of 1, negative 1. So again, towards the origin. And now if we choose the point negative 1, 0 0.5, we're on the level set where x, y is equal to negative 0 0.5. And so we're at negative 1, 0 0.5, and we're going to move like so. Again, we're moving towards the origin. And if we negate these values, we get 1, negative 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 1. So if we're over here, we're going to be moving... again, towards the origin. Sorry. So again, we're going to be moving towards the origin. And if we choose a point on f equals 0, we see that we have, let's let x equals 0, y 1. So we're at here. Then our direction is going to be move in the direction 1, 0. So 
away from the axes. And if we choose the point negative 1, 0, we're going to be moving in the direction 0, negative 1. So we will be going like so. So as you see the direction, we kind of move towards the positive of f. And again, we're going to be moving towards the positive of f. So as f increases, that's the direction the gradient vector is pointing towards. So you see that our sketch of our level sets and the directions um, in which you would be, in which the gradient vector would be pointing.